So, David, why doesn't <laughs> hypnosis have a greater presence in general practice? Yeah. Why, yeah. why, why did it and just completely your, evaporate out of the landscape? Is that what your affiliation is attempting to the integrative medicine at Stanford? Well, that's part of it. And, and Reverie, I, I've been doing this for 50 years now. And uh, I thought at the beginning of my career that if we all just do enough research, we prove that it works, we show how it works using functional magnetic resonance, resonance imaging. FMRI. Mm -mm. FMRI, that people would come around. And you know what? That hasn't happened. And uh, I think some people are scared of it. But the other thing is big pharma guys. You know, uh, I don't have money to hire a bunch of ex-cheerleaders to go around to doctors' offices and talk them into using <laughs> hypnosis. Interesting. You know? <laughs> so the drugs. <laughs> and there's a, you know, and I'm, I'm a physician. I use medication. There are time and a place for it. But we, we tend to undervalue any intervention that is not incision, injection, or ingestion. 